Okay, so since now that I've uh, actually played this game, I've had to delete all my files, and I figured since I'm starting over again, I might as well explain to new players how to play this game. Okay, first thing you're gonna notice, you got a ship. Uh, you can control it with WASD for tilting, and I, I guess actually you can go forward as well. Uh, I find that, honestly, the way to go is you use W for pushing forward, and then you actually steer with the mouse. Then you're gonna want to catch the wind. If you look at your uh, if you look at your boat, you can see the little flag at the top. That's gonna tell you which direction the wind is. And for some reason, you can you can actually reverse in this game. Here's our mini map. Obviously, we haven't discovered a lot here. Sometimes that starts bigger. Sometimes not. I'm uh, not exactly sure how that works. Oh hey, here, there's often things just floating around like crates, you click on them, you get random resources. Uh, as you can notice, there's a town right here, you can actually click here, once I get closer apparently. And you can see everything that's in my inventory, again I just started, so there's you know, nothing there. Here's all the stuff I can buy, you can actually buy captains, uh, crews, cannons, I'll show you where to equip those after, and then in the town, you can accept quests. This is kind of how you start making money. Uh, I, a lot of times I go for the smuggling run because it makes really good cash and, you know, they're not really that hard, so. Uh, to show you how to equip things. Go to inventory. Ah, yes, here. So, uh, there's a whole bunch of different things here that you can equip new stuff or you can actually, later on, you can actually upgrade these guys. Okay, so the first thing we are going to do is I'm going to show you how to do a quest. Because I'm badass as shit, I'm going to smuggle. Now it's actually going to show us where to go too. So you see this little white line here? All we have to do is follow it. Since we're smuggling, everyone's going to try to fuck us up. So they're trying to kind of avoid people. Oh god, here they come. Oh fuck off, you goddamn assholes! You'll notice too that I'm auto attacking. There's uh, there's other special things you can do down here, but uh, if you just keep the uh, the port or the starboard facing your enemy, it'll just it'll auto shoot. So that's good. You can see now we're uh, we're actually exploring more, so we can see more in the mini map. It's just helping us get to places better. Okay, smuggling run is almost done. Also, as soon as you get to a town, your ship will start to auto repair. Yeah, let's see, there we go. And again, our quests are automatically done. We don't even have to go into the town if we don't want to. These rumors, I actually didn't really pay attention to until later on, but they, they help you a lot if you want to just go in here and buy maybe something for lower and sell it to another town for high. So here in the rumors, say, buying lumber from Haswick, which is where we are. It's bound to earn a profit in Messonshire? I don't know where the fuck Messenshire is, so that doesn't help me at all. See, in that case, what you would do is you'd go to uh, Cargo, buy Lumber, find Messenshire, and you'd be good to go. Okay, I'm gonna do another quest. Hey, is there any that go to Messenshire? You can see here, I got Cargo for two, so that means I can take basically one quest, but I can also take uh, one cargo of something. Or I could take two quests if they're going to the same place. Uh, at the top there, it just said I gained experience and lets you unlock new skills and abilities. To do that, just go right here, click on talents. Uh, I got three points that I can use, so I'm gonna reinforce my hull, increase accuracy, and damage. Ha! Huh. Perfect. There's a whole bunch of other things you can do here. It's not really a tree format, so you can't fuck it up too bad. And I think. Yeah, you can even take away abilities, so it's really forgiving. Okay, here we go. So we got this mission, bonus avoid, defeating enemies along the way, whatever. But this is also going to the same place, so what we do is we accept both of them. I'm gonna get a double whammy here. This is part of the charm of the game. You know, it's just calm, relaxing, you're sailing on the sea to some 
really quite good music in this game as well, so... This game is a perfect Saturday afternoon or Sunday evening. Kinda of dreading going back to work on Monday type game. It's, just, it's a feel-good game, that's what it is. It's pretty cool too, later on you can actually change the color of your sails and the embroidery that's on it. There's not a lot of players on this game, these are mostly AI. Even when you see pirates, which show up as black dots on the minimap, by the way, they're they're mostly AI. See there, I just got two two done. Well, bam, because I'm that good. And I got a new captain. So when you get a new captain or a new crew or uh, new sails or new cannons, it'll actually show you what what you have equipped on the left there. So that's my captain now, and then what this guy comes or uh, offers. Again, you got these other abilities that uh, these are for when you're in a battle. Or this is actually to repair your ship after the battle. So yeah, he here's the customization I was talking about. Where later in the game you can get dyes and you can change colors and embroideries. And all that cool stuff. It's a lot of fun. The place we're going has need of rice. Which they have rice here. So the reason why I got rid of that other mission is because I need the cargo space to purchase this rice. Oh! See, and you sometimes get this really cool pirate music. Pretty sure it's for battles. I like it. If you hit land, by the way, while you're sailing like this, it'll do a hefty amount of damage, so... You know, try to avoid that, especially when you've got pirates hanging around. Something that's really helpful is uh, you can build watchtowers later on, and that actually gives you more vision around the map. Right now, we've only got vision where people are. Later on, when you get the more large ships, it's a lot of fun just cruising around the sea, messing up pirates, even though they're just AI. Oh, hey, I got hull paint! Oh, and a sail embroidery. So if I equip that, look at my sail now. It's badass as shit. Okay, right, so now we've got the rice, like we said they needed. And it'll actually show it here that it, we're going to sell it for a profit. It's got the pluses. Boom. That's how easy that is. Alright, that's it. That Those are the basics. 